Hey, Hustlers, how y'all doing on this Thursday night? I was just sitting here thinking about some things. But before we get started, let's toast for a good conversation. Cheers. I was just sitting here and I was thinking about relationships because, you know, I'm starting to date a little bit and uh, talking to people. And as I said, when you get into a new relationship, how do you establish trust? Once before I said, when you get into a new relationship, you go in with blind trust until that person gives you a reason not to trust. But what are the four elements of trust? Comment below. But I'm going to call them out as well. The four elements of trust is, number one, competence. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with that? Number two is reliability. That plays a good part. Integrity. That's a whole nother conversation. Integrity. Do people really have that anymore? And communication. Communication is a key to any foundation. I don't care if it's friendship, if it's uh, your job life, a business life, a uh, relationship life. Communication is the foundation for everything to build on. Okay? But we're going to talk about this trust thing, y'all. Give me... Comment below something that you think that can break the trust. The first thing that people think that breaks the trust is cheating. That is true, as we all know. When I'm thinking about cheating, there's other levels that can mimic cheating, just not actually I got to sneeze, y'all. Excuse me. <coughs> Bless me. <coughs> Bless me. <coughs> Bless me. <coughs> Bless me. I got to call off in the morning. After three, you got you to gotta call off. I do not have COVID, y'all. It's allergies. When you think about cheating, people say, are they always, but the first thought is, uh, stepped out on each other. But a lot of levels of cheating is texting another woman, talking about your problems, going out to lunch with an agenda, because things happen when you do that. Uh, online cheating on the dating sites, that's still cheating. And that's my opinion. Everybody probably won't agree with that, but I do. Because I've been on online dating in and out, and there are a lot of men that says, I'm married, I'm just looking for a friend. You can look for a friend in the grocery store, at the laundromat, at the car wash. You, you can't do it on a dating site because there are some people on the dating site that want to date for purpose, not plan. So cheating. So when I thought about cheating, I have a napkin right here. It's not really that wrinkle, right? But I believe once you cheat on whatever level you're cheating on, this is what happens with the trust. It just crumbles. And it doesn't come back real fast. And sometimes it don't never come back. You know why? Because look at this napkin now. It's blemished. And you won't get it back straight like it was. That's trust once you ruin it.
let's talk about integrity in a relationship. Comment below what you think that means. I know y'all know, but just comment below. <sighs> Competence. Reliability, meaning say what you mean, mean what you say. In this day and time, I see it with my eyes with marriages that's broken after 40 years, some 32 years. And I'm thinking, after all those years, you, 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 you probably should be doing the whole sentence for each other. Knowing what they need before they even say it. Or what they're thinking before they even say it. You know, trust is so fragile or fragile today. But for me, because I'm getting back in the dating scene, I'm going to go in with blind trust because it's always learning somebody each day or each week or each month because people change as well. Each day, every week or monthly, they do change because they grow. And if they stay the same, that's not growth. But when you're growing, you, you have a, a different thought process, you do things differently, you think differently, everything is different. So you, ha it's, it's, you have to learn all the time, you know. For me, you can't build trust after 90 days that you're talking before you do the nasty. How much trust can you gain? You have a little bit, but trust is a lifelong thing. Especially in in every relationship that you're going to be in. So for me, I want to go in with a blind trust until you give me a reason not to trust you. And I would ask for the same. What I've seen in my dating life before I got out of it is the first thing that men say to me after, let's say, four months or even six months, because I have this personality and everything about me, it is what it is. And I'm really who I am. And I walk in my truth. The jealousy comes just like that. And I'm thinking like, did I e even give you a reason to be jealousy? When you allow jealousy or uh, insecurities to creep in your relationship, man, that's that that just demolishes every trust that you have in your whole body. It's a deal breaker for me, you know? Trust is so hard to get and it's so easy to lose. I learned how to forgive. I don't ever want to lose that either. You can hurt me once. I'll forgive you. But I'm going to always have my eye on what you do. And if I have to do that, you're not for me. For me with trust... And I want everybody to think about this, what I'm about to say. Once your partner walks out of that door, if you have to wonder where they going, what they doing, and who they doing it to, that's not a good relationship. I would rather be happy and single as I am than to do that foolishness. With trust. Accountability. Prove it to me. Mm -hmm. Reliability. Prove it to me. Yeah. 
prove it to me. And I'll say this once again, mean what you say and say what you mean. Men and women, we can't read no one's mind. Tell me how you feel. If it's not good, then let's talk about it and let's 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 make a decision together before you go outside of the house and do what you do and who you're doing it with. Don't do that. And that's the communication. Every relationship is going to go through something. And if anybody says, oh, honey, not mine. Oh, honey, I have the best relationship ever. You lying to yourself and it ain't real. Every relationship, every marriage is going to go through some trauma. Trials. Tribulation. Because the Bible said that. <laughs> okay. But if you are on another level, if you're thinking you're growing higher than your partner, y'all not growing together and y'all could be like this or like this, sit down and talk about it and have a mutual, mutual decision. Before you go out into the world and share yourself with somebody. Because in today's disease department with the CDC, all of this stuff that's going in a circle, 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 circle around young, old, and indifferent. If you have to go outside, you know, this is just common sense though, men and women. If you choose to go outside of your relationship and, and make a relationship outside of your door, do it with protection. Don't ever bring something that your partner didn't ask for inside of your house. Because that is just disrespectful. Period. I'm a communicator all day, every day. I know how to sit down like grown adults. And if it ain't right, it ain't right. So what? So be it. Shit, everybody you date, you know, after six months, you, you'll realize if y'all need to be together. But if you're not, just say it, you know, and agree with it or whatever. But don't go out and cheat. I don't know why I was thinking about that. Well, I guess I do because I was thinking about in my dating life. I don't want to do the back and forth. I don't want to hire a private investigator because it was done it was done to me before and that was just ugly. Be honest and open in a new relationship. If you just want to do the nasty without a commitment, just talk about it. That's all you got to do. Period. That's just all you got to do. That's just all you got to do. Period. Hey, D. Hey. Hey, what's up? Let me call you right back. I was doing a video. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Bye, honey. Bye, bye. Yeah. And um, uh, if 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 you don't want to, if if that's all you want, then I think two grown ups should be able to sit down and talk about. Look here, I don't want to commit with you, but I think you're cool. I think you're groovy. I think you're sexy. I think you this. I think you that. I think you're handsome. I think you smell good. I think you have a great personality, and we could talk. But I don't want a commitment. And y'all agree to just do the nasty, then agree to it together. Don't play games. Don't do that. Because it's damaging to someone else, you know? I, for me, that I learned about me, I love hard. 
I love deep. And I'm looking at the clock, y'all. And when the right person comes into my circle or my private space and we have something together and then when I put my my guard down or my walls down and be transparent um, and the love Jones spark in my soul or my spirit I do love for real for real and when that comes my trust comes with that what I say about me however you met me don't try to change me however you meet me that's what attracted you to me don't change it and I'm not a cheater I don't sneak around if I'm for you I am for you so the jealousy that that demolishes the trust issue don't come into my space with that the insecurities don't do that not for me because I'm not gonna do it for you and this is for all of us when you are adventuring into new relationships you got to let all that other stuff go because if you if you bring it in there all that stupid baggage that ignorant baggage that that crazy baggage you already have messed up your relationship so this trust thing it's just not cheating it's it's a lot of things entailed with that trust so i'm gonna leave y'all with this because it's like 15 minutes now Whatever you're doing, do it good, do it with purpose, and do it with what? Genuine love. And genuine love means genuine trust. Bye.